Hi friends, it's Ashley again from Live Happy Tarot. I'm here to talk about the Seeds of Shakti Oracle Cards. Uh, I got this in a um, uh, trade. I'm super excited to, I, to use these. I've been actually using them already. Uh, this is an, a great Oracle deck. Here's the book. This is how they came for me. I'm sure they come in a bigger box uh, when you purchase them together. Um, the Seeds of Shakti is created by Sharon Basanti, and it was written and illustrated by her. It has a couple extra cards that it comes with. Um, here's some uh, how you can find her, Gypsy Arts at Gypsy Arts. You can also find her at Seeds of Shakti. Here's a little card of the chakras, and here's the guidebook. Here again. Oh, that's the technical designer, Sharon Basanti. That's the creator and illustrator. Um, the guidebook is really nice. It has a little bit about her creation project, her creation of the project. She has, it has a seven day challenge, it has some spreads, and then it goes through each card. It has a picture of the card and it has the card and an affirmation. She doesn't do reverse cards because it's an Oracle deck. Okay. And then the cards come in this tiny little tuck box. And I think you can tell that the cards are small. Uh, here is a card from This Might Hurt. And there's the size of the oracles, the Seeds of Shakti Oracle. They also are all sorts of different colors. Oops. Oh my goodness, I'm throwing things around. But really they are all sorts of different colors. There's black and white and the edges um, are different colors. And it's, it's really actually a very pretty edged deck. It didn't, I, this is the way it came. I don't, I don't believe that the person I traded with edged them herself. I believe this is how they come. So black and white backs with different color edges. And then we'll go through some of the cards. The cards themselves are moderate, like not super thin, but not super thick. They're really small. So like, I don't, I'm not the best shuffler anyway. So I'm not sure, I, I guess you can shuffle like this. Yeah, um, that's not normally how I shuffle my cards. I usually shuffle hand over hand. Um, anyway, and so let's take a look at the cards. Aha, so they have one card for each chakra and I'm gonna butcher these. This is Sahasrara, Sahasrara. <laughs> this is your crown chakra. Namaste, so she has a little bit of Guide words on each card, waning moon. I actually, she, I read that she really hadn't drawn before she felt called to draw these cards holy, which I feel like is absolutely amazing. Like, how is that possible? I, Hamsa, I would love to be able to just pick up a pen and draw like this. Peacock, cow, so these are all Hindi or Hindu referenced cards because the creator, she said um, she was, oh, let's see, was harking back to her, her religion and um, singing bowl. And they're just really beautiful. I just really like them, uh, especially if you have been working with your chakras or um, you practice yoga you'll recognize a lot of these, or you've been into any sort of Hinduism, you'll recognize a lot of the symbolism. Soul star, Ganesha, flower of life, waxing moon. I love the moons, they're so pretty. Earth Star, Dream, Lakshmi, Manipura. So this is your solar plexus chakra, Anja. This is your um, third eye chakra, Svadhisthana. <laughs> I have a hard time with that one. This is your uh, base chakra. Oh, Vishuddha. 
This is your throat chakra. Anahata. Oh, maybe this is, this must be green. I think this is your, yes, this is your heart chakra. That's banyan tree. Buddha. I think I have these all upside down. Turtle. Star. Meditate. Eclipse. Camel. Lingam. Pomegranate. Marigold. Shiva. Shell. Mala. New moon. Fish. Crystals. Kali. Shakti. Lotus. Muladhara. That's, well this, hmm, red, orange, sorry. So this is your base and this is your second chakra. Drum, Diwali. Apparently I don't know my colors. <laughs> I had trouble with the green one too. That's funny. My friends and I in high school had a little chat about teal. Is it green or is it blue? Which one do you think it is? Anyway, if you're enjoying my videos, then I would really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up for this one and maybe subscribe. I really would love to get some more subscribers. I'm going to go ahead and pull a card for us today while those are watching this video. We have gotten, oh, the flower of life. All right. So let's go ahead and read what it says in the guidebook, Flower of Life. The Flower of Life is part of many spiritual and religious teachings throughout the world. The symbol is made of equal sized circles that overlap to create a beautiful pattern containing sacred geometry. The Flower of Life is believed to be a record keeper of the universe's building blocks and other information. Your affirmation, I observe the patterns in my life with complete awareness. The universe is full of mysteries and secrets that don't reveal themselves until you are ready to unravel them. Observe and become aware of the patterns in your life. Do you recognize the cycle? What you uncover will shed immense light on your current situation. There you go. Thank you everybody so much for being here and watching my video. I really appreciate it. See you next time.